welcome to the Simplicity Lifestyle channel. My name is Psyche and today I am reviewing the Elvis movie which I have just so, seen. You know, the film centres on basically a young Elvis living in a poor area with his mother because his father um, had gone to prison. So the family were moved into a very poor area which happened to be a black area. So all of Elvis's friends and influences were from black people and revival church. And that's where he got all his, you know, uh, singing and dancing and stuff like that. Um, and all of this has been now brought out, which it should be, because I think the, it's these kinds of things that actually helps with the balance of how people feel about different cultures and stuff and think oh my goodness I didn't realize that this person was so heavily influenced by this or that or whatever and I've got to say some of the church scenes I, I felt like I wanted to like find a tambourine and start going yeah <laughs> it just gives you that real feeling of like you know exuberance and and so much power and happiness and uh, that kind of came across on screen it was incredible so can you imagine actually being there and this really you know sunk into elvis's psyche and pardon the pun of my name but into his psyche and into his soul and into me and his mother said it, it he had got a gift from god and um, it just showed you some of the the obstacles that he faced and it was, a, you know, the film also centres heavily on his relationship with Colonel Parker because we've heard all these different stories. Obviously, we know now that Colonel Parker really was not a good man and he took his money. But it was really interesting seeing it, you know, up front and centre. Um, but the film started and it started off basically almost towards the end with Colonel Parker and he did a lot of the narration through the film, you know. Um, and it, I, I found the film in its entirety very, very busy. It was there was a lot. You know? um, I think though all the the casting, as far as I'm concerned, was absolutely perfection. Even some of the parts that were smaller parts, like Big Mama Thornton and. Uh, Little Richard, you know, B.B. Um, King, you know, they weren't, they were big roles, but they weren't big in the film. But because of their significance and because the, the casting was perfect for everyone who was casted in those particular roles, it it, it just really gave the, the film a lot of weight because essentially, to me, the film is really showing... Elvis's roots and where he got all his inspiration from and he even said it himself you know he's a rhythm and blues kind of guy and rock and roll that's who he was so he didn't really grow up being prejudiced because everyone around him was black um and they embraced him yes. and I've always said this when you look at some of these stars I really believe they were born to do what they did because a lot of them have passed now. And to me, it sort of came across in the film that Elvis was born to do what he did. And he definitely was. I mean, the man was absolute genius. And to come from where he did and to end up where he 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 was at, as in his stardom and the way that everybody just fell at his feet, was extraordinary extraordinary it wasn't just you know record companies just pumping money and saying you're gonna like this person and everything's fake in those days you couldn't be fake you had to be real and I think that's what to me that's what made the film even more beautiful because I just hope with the fact of that with the new music that they've put in with Elvis's songs just to bring up today that the younger generation will see that they didn't have all these fancy internet and you could fake your photographs and fake this and fake that and fake your sound of your voice you really had to produce the goods 
the real goods and that is real talent and that comes across in the film because this as i said this guy elvis he he came from a poor background so they didn't have any means to send him to special schools or anything like that and elvis spent a lot of his times you know with black people listening to them play music and he learned to play the guitar and so on and the piano and whatever and he was born with a God-given talent and it was clear to the people around him that this was the case. And he, even his mother said, you know, you were born to do this. And he was. He and he had morals and integrity. And I think the biggest thing about Elvis is that, as Colonel Parker said, you know, or in the script, you know, he, he, I think Colonel Parker helped get him off, even though Colonel Parker, he, he's passed now, would say, no, he didn't. But yes, he did. But one of the things that he did actually say that is that Elvis died for us, meaning his fans. He died for love. And I think that is a really, really good and interesting way of looking at it because he did die for the love of, of you know, life and what he gave to people and the joy that it, it gave to people because singing and the blues and stuff like that gave him so much joy and he really did not want to be navigated away from that i think austin butler did an absolutely fantastic job you know and again i'll say it again and really reiterate it's no good people saying oh he doesn't look like him he doesn't move like him Ooh. how can he he's not him and the whole point of it is not for the person to look exactly the same and everything like that they are depicting a person who was around so you know i think we have to be fair when we see these kind of films and stuff where people are taking off people especially of this magnitude you know it's not some little like tv film or something just bashed on a streaming service this is a really really big deal and you know a lot of work went into it a lot of background knowledge went into austin's performance and he spent thousands of hours you know watching videos of Elvis and you know having speech um, lessons of how to speak like him and his mannerisms you know it took a lot of work so I will never put down anyone for their performance because that is really you know to do something like that the majority of us who would do the complaining could even do half of it so I will not go there he did a, an outstanding job in my opinion and towards the end when they sort of sort of were alternating between austin and elvis i kind of had a problem working out who was who and then it's like oh right now we've gone over to elvis the real elvis towards the end of his life and his in particular his very last um show in 1977 i think it was probably about a month before he died tom hanks's role as colonel tom parker honestly Tom Hanks's performance was absolute perfection. That's why he is pure gold royalty in Hollywood. I mean, that man brings every role he does, he brings it, doesn't he? He brings it 100% and you he does not disappoint in this film whatsoever. It's so meaty with him. And I think it's really good that people completely understand everything about this Colonel Tom Parker and how he was devious and he told Elvis lies and stuff like that. I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary what this man did to Elvis, you know. Um, and Tom's depiction of this gentleman was just fire. It was brilliant. So I really hope that Tom Hanks gets a, an award for it or as is at least nominated for an Oscar and a BAFTA because he really did bring it to the screen. And I think he, obviously, you know, the film is about Elvis's life and how he was inspired into doing what he did. And obviously, you know, him being managed by Colonel Parker, it was a very, very big part of the film. That's basically what the film was about. I think just those two strands, you know, where Elvis came with, with all his talent and how he was influenced and then Colonel Parker sort of, you know, running his career, so to speak, and making lots of money out of Elvis. Um, 
So it was very, very powerful. The topics was very, very powerful and very, very well executed by both Tom Hanks and Austin Butler, indeed all the cast, but definitely Tom Hanks and Austin Butler just were phenomenal in my opinion. So yes, very good and great. So I think it's a film that I will definitely have to readdress again because there's so many elements to it and I'm sure I've missed some really big things in it that I wish I hadn't but hopefully I've captured the most important um, elements of the film but it was uh, it was an outstanding performance and I think Baz Luhrmann I don't think anyone else could have brought off what Baz did he has this incredible ability to to really bring out things and pick out things and and you know, sort of toss things around so you get the real nitty gritty out of something that most people are totally oblivious to. Um, and I found some scenes in the film very, very moving, very moving. And I think my favourite scene uh, was when he did a special and it had Elvis behind him and he came out in this white suit. And I, I honestly, I thought I was going to cry. I, it was so beautiful, the way that they'd shot it. Um, and I, you know, obviously they're taken off how it was done by Elvis. But the fact that they, they got it so right and the temperature of that was so right. And I, I sat there and I just, I, I thought I was going to weep. It was really, really moving. But the whole thing was fantastic. He did an extraordinarily difficult job in an extraordinarily difficult time because they, I think they started filming it. Then we've had COVID. Then we've had this. And, and it, you know, when you keep having uh, jagged breaks through filming and production, it really is off-putting because like with anything in life, you know, once you start something, you need the momentum to keep going and, and keep everybody up and positive and, you know, and, and just see this thing formulate into this beautiful production. But when it keeps start stopping, maybe could be somehow, somewhere, you know, it's a very, very difficult thing. Mentally, it's difficult. And then on top of that, you still got to bring your artistic um, performances and just pretend that nothing happened and we've just got to keep on and keep up and, you know, keep continuing where we left off. Okay. The film has more weight attached to it from the sheer fact that Priscilla Presley and Lisa Marie backed it. They just loved it and they were very, very moved by it. Obviously, he had all his friends and family and hangers on around him. But, you know, Priscilla was married to him and she had his child and she saw it all and she knew him from the age of 14. So she was like the owl sitting on the fence, you know, taking it all in and seeing every character that was, that he was surrounded by. And I moved, in fact, I was very, very moved and quite sad um, about the way Elvis was treated by Colonel Parker. Um, it was just devastatingly bad. You know, this gentleman had worked so hard during his whole life for everyone because there were so many hangers on and, you know, I mean, just everybody wanted a piece of him because he was cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. He was money. And um, to find out that he had to just keep going because he would be bankrupt, it was just ridiculous. And all of it was just pure lies. But when the film finished, lots of people normally get up and like, can't wait to make their exit. But do you know what? Nobody moved. They watched all the credits. I mean, right to the bitter, bitter, bitter end, even when it came back up with, you know, that beautiful emblem with Elvis sort of embellished right in the middle of it. Absolutely a beautiful photograph. Um, but nobody moved. Everybody just sat there. And I think everybody felt the same as myself, that we were just like bewildered as to how much this man gave of himself. I would give it a 10 out of 10, uh, but I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason I hold back on 1% is because Baz didn't put me in the film. Had he given me my break, which I deserve, 
I would have given him the 1%. But you know what? There's room for the next one. Okay, Baz? <laughs> no, seriously, it's a 10 out of 10. Absolutely a marvellous movie. So, you know, it doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter if a critic says it's good. It doesn't matter if someone says it's a terrible film. You should go and see it yourself because it's well worth the money. And it's a, an amazing conversation piece. And if you like music, you're going to like the film Elvis. There you go.